Come out wherever you are. <laughs> Gotcha. Ah! <laughs> oh, boy, you're sure good at hide and seek, Justin. It's easy to find you because you're bright and yellow. Honey, is this everything for the charity box? I don't want to forget anything before I take it away. Hey, Squidgy, let's sneak up on Mom and Dad and surprise them. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's everything. Do you have any laundry? Oh, don't forget about Moo Moo Bear. <laughs> right, can't forget about him. <gasps> Moo Moo Bear! Mom and Dad are taking Moo Moo Bear away in the charity box. Where's he going? He's not going anywhere, Squidgy. Come on! But I've never been that high before. Come on, Squidgy. It's not so hard. Watch. I'm the king of the mountain. I can see everything from up here. Wow. You're really high up, Justin. I am an expert climber. I can climb anything, and so can you, Squidgy. I can? Anything? Anything. Even a giant, gigantic, enormous, super huge mountain! Come on, let's climb! Okay, Justin, I'm with you! Whoa, look at those mountains! Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Olive. Olive! Welcome to the German Alps! <laughs> Justin has the ball. He takes the shot. Yes! One point! And the crowd goes wild! Yay, Justin! Thanks, Squidgy. Want to play? We can take turns. Sure! <laughs> My high score is three. Let's see if we can beat it. Your turn, Squidgy. All right, going for number two. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Two in a row. Go, team, go! Whoa, that's three! I got it, I got it! <laughs> and Justin has the ball again. Huh? Oh, <laughs> go, Justin, go! Races down the court and takes the shot. Four! We did it! Yes! We did it! When's it my turn? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Squidgy. But we still beat the high score. Yeah, I guess you're right. Four! Four! We beat the high score! All right. Going for number five. Uh-oh. I'll get it! I got, I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it. I got it. Olive. Thanks, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Hi, Olive. Welcome to ancient Guatemala. This is a Mayan ball court, and we are just about to play a ball game. Awesome! I need a teammate. Want to play? You bet. We're Team Blue. Here's your uniform. Thanks. Do you want to play too, Squidgy? Oh, oh, can I be the cheerleader? Watch this. <laughs> Let's go. Let's play. Hip, 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 hooray! Let's go! Let's play! Hip, hip, hip! Beep, aww, beep, aww. <laughs> Who are you? This is Paco. He's our cheerleader. Oh, hello! I'm Pepe. I'm Paolo. We, we are, are Team Red. Red. Hello! We're Team Blue! And we're ready to play ball! Do you use airplanes to look for animals in trouble? Not just airplanes. The jungle is really big, so I need to use all kinds of vehicles to get around. Like my Jeep. Follow me. A, A Jeep? Jeep? Wow, I've always wanted to ride in a Jeep. Can we come rescue animals with you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, Mr. Monkey. This is Kima. <laughs> he likes to visit me at the ranger station. Hi, Kima. We're gonna rescue some animals. Wanna come with us? <laughs> What's wrong, Kima? <laughs> <laughs> what? A baby giraffe? <laughs> In trouble? A baby giraffe needs our help. <laughs> and he's down at the river. I'll have a look. Well, there's the river, but I can't see anything. We're too far away. We need to get closer. Good idea, Justin. We'll use my Jeep. I'll drive. And I'll keep an eye out for the giraffe. I'll take care of Kima. To the rescue! Any giraffe. Okay, so where's the baby giraffe, Kima? <laughs> he doesn't remember this part of the river. Hmm, this jungle is so thick. I can't see the rest of the river from here. What do you think, Olive? Hang on. Hmm, the river's just too twisty. <laughs> he said he's going higher up the tree for a better look. <laughs> 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 Did you see anything, Kima? <laughs> no, he didn't see the giraffe. Well, we can't see the giraffe from here or my ranger station. <laughs> then we need to get even higher. If only we could fly, Justin. Squidgy, that's it. We can fly. Squidgy, Squidgy, look what I have. What? What? A loot bag. Oh! And here's an extra one for you. A loot bag? I love loot bags! Let's open them. Good idea, Squidgy. I got bubble gum. I got bubble gum, too. I got a lollipop. Oh! I got a marble. Wow! That isn't just any marble. That's a Jupiter Storm marble. I've always wanted one of those. A Jupiter Storm Marble? Yeah. I can't believe you got one. Maybe you got one, too. Nope. Just three regular marbles. I already got a whole bag of these. A whole bag? Do you want to trade? Trade? Yeah. You can take any one of these marbles if you give me your Jupiter Storm. Sure. Here, take a look. What color would make you happy, Squidgy? Purple, yellow, green, oh, I want all the colors! Orange, pink, periwinkle, maroon, fuchsia, polka dot! Ooh, now that's a lot of colored marbles. These aren't marbles, Squidgy. They're beads. Hi, Hi Olive. Olive. Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to Lothal, the biggest trading port in all of India. People come here from all over the world. <laughs> huh. What for? To visit the marketplace. They come to trade things that they don't want for things that they do want. <sighs> what do you trade, Olive? I'm a bead merchant. I travel all around the world on my boat to trade beads for things that make me happy. Cool. When are you going? Well, I was hoping to leave tonight, but I can't go anywhere until I get my new sail. Oh, the sail is full of holes. Exactly. I need to trade my beads for a new one. Well, Squidgy and I are really good traders. We can help you. Oh, yeah! We love making trades! Then come with me. Justin, look! Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, make a trade for games and toys. Wow! What a lot of snow. <gasps> lots and lots of snow! 
perfect for tobogganing. <gasps> Come on, Squidgy. <laughs> I love tobogganing. Oh, oh. Tobogganing, tobogganing we will go. go. Tobogganing we will go. There's lots of snow, so here we go. Tobogganing in the snow. Hiya, Justin. Hi, Dad. Phew, that's a lot of snow. Yeah, I'm going tobogganing. <laughs> but I think I'm stuck. Can you help me, Dad? <laughs> Hang on a sec, kiddo. I'll give you a hand. Ready? One, two, three. Yep! Thanks, Dad. Here you go. Yeah! This is fun! Good thing your dad was there to help us. We're on our own now, Squidgy. We're off to explore the Arctic. Whoa! That's a lot of snow. There's always a lot of snow here. Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the Arctic. Awesome! And welcome aboard my ship, the Explorer. I'm on my way to deliver something to my friends far away, and I need a crew. We'll be your crew, Olive. I, Commander Justin, will steer your ship. And I will be your lookout and look out for things. Great, Squidgy. Be on the lookout for a shortcut. We have to deliver my warm and cozy blanket. <laughs> These are warm and cozy. They are, but if we don't take a shortcut, we'll be there too late and my friends will be too cold. Look, I'll show you where we're going. We have to take the blankets over here. Uh huh. And right now, we're over here. Ooh. Ships used to go this way all the way around like this to get there. That's crazy. But people didn't know about the shortcut. Ooh. It goes right from here to here. I see. It's called the Northwest Passage, and we have to find it before winter gets here. Brr. Brr. This isn't winter? That's crazy! When winter comes, it gets so cold that the whole sea freezes. That doesn't sound good. Well, let's find that Northwest Passage and fast. Come on, Squidgy. The race is about to start. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Drivers, start your engines. Vroom! On your mark, get set. Hey. <laughs> Ah, uh, flat tire. Hmm, I think this car might need to see a doctor. Maybe your dad can help fix it. No, I don't need any help. It's not that flat. We can still win the race. Come on, Squidgy, let's go. Vroom! Vroom! This has to be the coolest place ever! It is! Olive! Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to England. You're at Brooklyn Speedway. Whoa! Look at him go! He's practicing for the big race that's about to start. Is that the fastest car, Olive? Maybe. But my car's pretty fast, too. No way. Is that your car, Olive? It is. I'm a mechanic. That's like a doctor for cars. Cool, a car doctor. Who's the driver? I'll drive your car. Yeah, Justin's the best driver ever. Perfect. Now all we need is a name. Let's call it Blue Lightning. Blue, Blue Lightning. Lightning. Nice. Oh, oh, can I ride with Justin? I can honk the horn. I'm so good at honking. Listen, honk, honk. Squidgy's a really good honker. <laughs> Sorry, Squidgy. A race car only has room for the driver. Why don't you be in the pit crew with me? Sure! Uh, what's a pit crew? A pit crew helps keep a race car in tip-top shape. 
Oh, that sounds like fun. Can I use a horn? You bet. Here. <gasps> I'm in the pit crew. <laughs> and I get to drive blue lightning. And then the firefighters put the fire out and rescued the entire town. The end. Wow! Firefighters are real heroes! We should be firefighters. Then we could be heroes, too. <laughs> okay. Well, who are we going to rescue? Hmm. I know. I'll go ask Mom if she needs to be rescued. Hey, Mom. I'm a firefighter. Do you need to be rescued? Hmm. Not really. But you could help me water the garden. Mom. <laughs> I mean, like, a big rescue. Like, putting out a fire. Oh, I see. Well, there aren't any fires to put out, but I'll let you know if I see any. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so does your mom need our help? Nope. And it doesn't look like anyone around here needs to be rescued. <gasps> That's it, Squidgy. Let's go to the fire station. Vroom, vroom. Hop on, Squidgy. Oh, oh, I'll turn on the siren. Ooh. Justin, hi, Squidgy. Welcome to San Francisco Fire Station number one. Whoa! What a cool siren! What a cool fire truck! Thanks. I need them both to be a firefighter. <gasps> Can we be firefighters too? Sure. Follow me into the firehouse. To be a firefighter, you always need to be ready. Ready for a big rescue! Big or small? We are ready to rescue them all. But first we'll need to put on our... Ready! Perfect, you've got your fire helmets. Now follow me. <laughs> I'm going to show you the most important tool in the firehouse. A phone? Right, when the phone rings, it tells us where our next rescue is. It's rescue time, Squidgy! Squidgy, I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, that's okay, Justin. What was that noise? I'm building the Tower of Justin. But it keeps falling down. The Tower of Justin? Oh, I love building things. Can I help? What's the plan? How are we going to build it? We're going to make it tall, Squidgy. Really tall. Oh, that's a great plan, Justin. <laughs> Okay, I'll do it. Nope, up the top. A little more. There! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Mm. Why does it keep falling? Well, maybe there's something wrong with these blocks. You know what we need, Squidgy? Real builder stuff like drillers and movers. And pushers and lifters! Right! Then I could build a super tall tower. Higher than this room, Justin? As high as the sky! Wow! Morning, Justin! Morning, Squidgy! <laughs> Olive! Welcome to New York City! Justin, look at all that construction! They sure have tall buildings here. Yep, they're so tall, they scrape the sky. So we call them skyscrapers. Skyscrapers, ooh. Let's build our own skyscraper, Olive. Great idea. We can call it the Tower of Justice. Yeah, let's get started. Wait a second. First, you'll need these to keep you safe. Hard hats. And I've got everything else we need right over there. Whoa, big humongous building blocks. Super humongous. But how are we going to lift them? Easy. With these hooks and those cranes. Cranes? <gasps> Squidgy, we get to use cranes! I love cranes! Woohoo! OK, 
Justin. What's the plan? To build as tall as we can! <gasps> Treehouse tail! There! That's it. Done. Can I go up now, Dad? Yeah, climb right on up. <laughs> Dad, this is awesome! Great. Now, stay there. I've got to put my tools away. I'll be right back. Wow! Our very own treehouse! Yeah! The Justin and Squidgy Treehouse Club. <laughs> Hi, Ozzy. <laughs> Ozzy says he wants to come up and play. But this is our treehouse club, Squidgy. Just for me and you. Yeah, just me and you. Sorry, Ozzy. We'll play later. <laughs> wow, Squidgy. We can see everything from up here. Yeah, I can see really far. Hey, there's Moo Moo Bear in the window. Hi, Moo Moo Bear. Our treehouse is so tall, we can almost see the whole town. Ooh, imagine what we could see if it was taller than tall. Really, really, really tall. Whoa! Now this is a tall treehouse. It sure is. Hi, Justin. Hey, Squidgy. Olive! Welcome to Papua New Guinea, land of the tree houses. Wow, you all live in the trees? Uh-huh, we can see everything from up here. Can you see a playground? This is our playground. We swing and climb and have lots of fun. I love to swing and climb. And I love to have fun. Perfect. <laughs> Got it! Oh, nice jump, Justin! Thanks, Squidgy. Throw it high so I can jump too! Okay, here it comes! <laughs> oh no! Hmm. Uh oh, our super saucer went into Mr. Manning's yard! Oh no! Can you see it? Yeah. <clears throat> But I can't reach it. So how are we going to get it? Well, there is a gate, but I'm not supposed to open it without asking for Mr. Manning's permission first. Oh. Maybe if we opened it just a crack. <laughs> Hi, Squidgy. Is that a super saucer? No, it's a gold pan. I'm a prospector, and this is my ranch. Welcome to the Yukon. Hey, Olive. What's a prospector do? A prospector is someone who looks for gold. Sometimes I pan for gold in the river, and sometimes I dig for it in my gold mine. But I haven't found anything yet. Don't worry, Olive. Squidgy and I are good at finding things. We'll help you find some gold. Yeah, gold! What does it look like? It's a sparkly yellow rock that's really pretty. Ooh, sounds nice. <gasps> Is this gold? No, Squidgy, that's just a regular rock. You won't find gold just lying around. That's what these pans are for. Here's how it works. You take your pan and scoop up some rocks from the river. Then you swirl it around and watch for anything shiny. I see something yellow and sparkly. Hmm. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Why don't you let me give it a try? Sure, Justin. Maybe you'll have better luck. Like this olive? That's right. Now swirl it around. See anything? Nothing. Hey, I think I see something over here. Toss me the pan, Justin. Okay. <laughs> Went over to Yukon Dawn's side. Who's Yukon Dawn? She's my neighbor and a prospector like me. Let's see if we can get it. I can see it. Can you reach it? No, but if we open this gate... Justin, we can't. Why? Because we always ask permission. That's the prospector's golden rule. Don't worry, Olive. I won't open it all the way. Just a little tiny bit. Well, 
I guess that would be okay. Great! Got it! Now we can get back to finding gold. Let's try a little further down the stream. Wow, what's that? It's an Inukshuk, a statue made of rocks. See how one side is longer than the other? It shows us which way to go. Olive, is that you? A Tuk! Justin, Squidgy, meet my friend A Tuk. Hi! Hello. How's it going, little dudes? So what are you up to, A Tuk? Oh, you know, just chilling, being an artist, and building the biggest Anukshuk ever. The biggest? Yeah, that's right. The biggest. Ever? Ever. Can we help? <laughs> awesome. Give me some mitt. Frosty. Frosty. <laughs> All right, so check this out. I've got the very last slab of rock to finish my biggest Anukshuk ever. How are you going to move that? We can take it on my dog sled. <laughs> Dudes, that is awesome. That's it. Keep it coming. Put it down. Uh, uh, okay. We're all set. Do you want to drive, Justin? Do I? You bet. So, where are we going, Atuk? My favorite place. All you gotta do is follow the Anukshuks. Right. Follow the Anukshuks. I'll keep an eye out for them. Squidgy, you can sit with me and be the musher. I get to be the musher! Ready to mush mush? Do you want to ride with us? Thanks, dudes. But I'm going to take some shortcuts through the deep snow. Are you sure? Our dog sled's pretty fast. Oh, don't worry. I've got these snowshoes. I'm a really fast runner. Watch this. Wow, that is fast. So meet you at the first Anukshuk, OK? Sounds good. See you later, Atuk. Mush, mush. Your next job is to tow that shipment of bananas into dock. Wow, that's a tall ship. Exactly. That ship's going to be tricky to steer. We'll need Olive's tall tugboat for this job. All right. Let's go get your boat, Olive. OK, Justin, are we ready? Tow line is secure. around that easily. Two toots for safety, Squidgy. Aye, aye, two toots! Excellent driving, Captain Olive. Thanks, Harry. That was great steering. Captain Olive's top boat is perfect for steering. Now let's bring that shipment of bananas back to the docks. Aye, aye! Lesson two, we do the Cossack dance. I love the Cossack dance. Cossack dance? It's a Russian dance that makes you strong and fast. I'm strong. I'm fast. Good. Then time to dance. Sasha, start music, please. Hey, 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 hey. Bing, bang, boom, pow. That was amazing. I want to learn that dance. Yeah. Show us how, Yuri. Okay, I teach you Cossack move called hop and kick. First, cross arms and bend leg. Then, hop and kick and switch leg. Hey, 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 bing, bang, boom, pow! Now you try. Hey, 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 whoa! This is hard. Yeah, we keep making mistakes. How are we going to be circus stars if we can't do the Cossack dance? Mistake is okay. Try again. Ah, maybe this will help. A skipping rope? Everybody skip. Skipping is easy. Good. Now, everybody kick. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Now, big finish. 
Bing, bang, boom, pow! Bing, bang, boom, pow! We, we did, did it! it. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Sasha says, now it's time for last lesson. How about dinosaur tag? Rexy, you have to catch all of us. <laughs> okay! You're it! Run! <laughs> you got me! <laughs> you got me! Can't catch me! Can't catch me! Can't catch me! Na, 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 na. <laughs> you got me. Wow, Rexy. You're really good at dinosaur tag. <laughs> Rexy says it's our turn now. Take us down, Rexy. All right, Rexy. Now it's our turn to chase you. <laughs> Game. Good. That would be good. Wow! Oh, nice hat, Justin. You have a nice hat too, Squidgy. Oh, I do. <laughs> I do. Those are musketeer hats. Olive. Hi, Justin. Hi, Squidgy. Welcome to the French countryside. Hey, you have a musketeer hat too. We're all musketeers. We're the queen's special helpers. How do you know when the queen needs help? Olive, I need your help! Bonjour, your royal highness. Musketeers Justin, Squidgy, and I are at your service. What can we help you with, your highness? My darling, precious Princess Fifi is... missing. A princess? She's missing? What can we do? This sounds like a rescue. We musketeers can help. Right? Right! What does Princess Fifi look like? Ah, she has shimmery golden hair and a sparkly diamond necklace around her neck. Oh, she sounds beautiful. Do you know where she might have gone? Well, it is cookie day at the market, and my darling, precious Princess Fifi just loves her special royal cookies. Cookies. The market. Got it. Don't worry, your royal highness. We'll rescue the princess and bring her back safe and sound. To the rescue! First, we have to do the musketeer salute. When I say, all for one, you say, and one for all. Got it? Got, Got it. it! All for one. And one for all! Adieu, my royal musketeers. I know you will not fail. Ah, Princess Vivi, where are you? That is the most super humongous horn I've ever seen. And it's a really, really big horn. I use it to call my goats home. I'm a goat herder. Meet Heidi, <laughs> Olaf, Ludwig, <laughs> Hansel, and Gretel. Uh, Gretel? Gretel! 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 That's her! Whoa! That's a really, really high mountain! She's climbed the Zugspitze. The what? The tallest mountain in Germany. Then we'll just climb up after her. Come on, Olive. Olive? What's wrong? I've never climbed that mountain before. It's really high. It's okay, Olive. I'm an expert climber. I'll help you go get Gretel. Um, 
I want to help Gretel too, but that mountain's really, really big, and I'm really, really small. Hey, Squidgy, I need some help with my mountain climbing gear. Why don't you climb into my backpack? Really? Okay. Whenever you need something, just ask. Thanks, Squidgy. So, Olive, are you ready to climb that mountain? I do need to get Gretel back home before it gets dark. A goat herder takes care of her goats. I'm ready, Justin. All right. Let's go get Gretel! Justin intercepts the pass. to be awesome. here. Maybe it's this way. Uh oh, nope, not this way. Hey, Olive, Squidgy, how do I get out of here? First, go toward the red mask. Can you see it? The red mask. There. Now go towards the blue. Justin! The blue mask! There! Where to now, Olive? Now look for the yellow mask! Here it is! Yes! And thanks for getting me out of there. No problem, Justin. I couldn't have done it without you two! We can use my rescue plane! <gasps> Fly the plane, Justin? I can be the lookout. Sure, Olive. Let's go! Come <laughs> on. 
Is there anything else you might like? This wooden doll? A one-wheeled bike? Hmm. A one-wheeled bike is nice, but I really need a new sail for my boat. A sail for your boat? I know just the shop. Walk down this way. It's a skip and a hop. All right, let's go. Thanks, Ravi. Happy trading. Welcome to Akram Sail Emporium. I am Akram. Hi, Akram. I'm looking for a new sail for my boat. Oh, then you have come to the right place. I have the finest sails in all of India. Here, feel. Ooh, soft. Which sail do you like best, Olive? Do you have one that will make my boat go fast? I love going fast. Ah, then you need this. The fastest sail in all of India. Hey, Olive, can I make this trade? Sure, Justin. Here are my beads. Mr. Akram, we'd like to trade for your sail. Very good, very good. What do you have? How about these beads? Oh, these beads are very beautiful. I think we've got a deal. But I already have a basket full of beads. More beads would not make me happy. Oh. Well, how about my bird whistle? <gasps> That's a very, very nice bird whistle. <laughs> but it would not make me happy. Then what would make you happy, Akram? A bouncy ball. A bouncy ball? A bouncy, 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 bouncy ball! But we don't have a bouncy ball. Oh, too bad. So I guess we can't make a trade today. I am very sorry. That's okay, Akram. We only want to make a trade that makes everybody happy. Yeah. I'm sure we can find a sail merchant who wants to trade for beads. Bye, Bye Mr. Akram! Happy trading! And please, if you find a bouncy ball, remember, that would make me very happy. To find the Northwest Passage, we need to find these two mountains. So be on the lookout. Lookout! I'm the lookout! To the lookout! <laughs> hmm. <gasps> I see something! The Northwest Passage? No! I think it's a whale! Waving a flag? A whale? Waving a flag? Waving a flag! Woohoo! Hello to you too, Mr. Whale! Wave hello, Justin! Huh. That's not a flag. That's a whale with a horn. And he's got something stuck on it. That whale needs our help. Hang on, Mr. Narwhal. We're changing course. It's a type of whale with a horn. They're very, very special and very, very beautiful. <coughs> and they really, really don't like having seaweed stuck in their horns. <coughs> oh, poor Narwhal. He says it's really bothering him. Excuse me, Mr. Narwhal. Do you need a hand? <coughs> oh, he says that would be really helpful. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Narwhal. Stay right there. I've got an idea. <coughs> Olive and Squidgy, you hang on to this. I'll take the wheel. Now hold on tight. It's working. It's untangling. Narwhal. I like him. Me too, Squidgy. But we'd better get back to finding our shortcut. Everyone, I found it! Look! The two mountains! Great! Those are the mountains we've been looking for. And right between them is... The, the Northwest Passage! <laughs> These ice mountains are huge! I can see my breath. 
I can see mine too. It must be getting colder. Oh, is it just me? Getting really cold. Here, Squidge, take this. Ah, a warm and cozy blankie. <laughs> Those islands look like awesome toboggan hills. Those are called icebergs. They're completely awesome. But we need to steer clear of them. Look out for that one! Hold on, everybody! It's getting <laughs> frosty. Perfect for making yummy ice pops. <laughs> hey, look! The ocean is starting to freeze. Oh, no! The ship's slowing down. I hope we don't get... stuck. <sighs> Come on, everybody. Let's go take a look. Great, Olive! It sure does. But you'll have to make sure you make pit stops during the race to keep it that way. What's a pit stop? A pit stop is when you come back here during the race to keep your car in tip-top shape. Justin, when you hear Squidgy's horn, it's time for a pit stop. It sounds like this. I'll hold up a sign to show you why you're stopping. This one means time to stop for gas. This one means time to stop for oil. And this one means time to stop for new tires. Right. So when you hear that and see a sign, just come over to the pit lane and pull into our blue garage. Got it. Drivers, please make your way to the starting line. The race will commence momentarily. I'd better get going. Wish me luck. Good, Good luck, luck, Justin. Justin. make pit stops, too. Every car needs gas. Okay, all filled up and ready to go. Thanks, pit crew. You're the best. A call! San Francisco Fire Station. We'll be right there. Come on, someone needs our help. We'll take the fastest way down. A fireball! Whee! Where's the fire? 
I thought we were going on a really big rescue. What? Oh, that's terrible. She says her ducklings are trapped. There's the problem. The pond is all dried up. I know. We can fill up the pond with the fire hose. Good idea, Justin. Don't worry, we'll save your ducklings. Squidgy, no! Look out! Whoa! I got it! Justin! I'll save you, Squidgy! <laughs> That's better. Now let's aim it at the pond. Good rescue, team. Yep, those are some lucky duckies. That was fun, but it wasn't a really big rescue. <laughs> let's get back to the station and see if we get any more calls for help. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Bye-bye, Ducky. Can I use the orange crane? Sure, Squishy. And I'll use the blue crane. And I'll take care of things here on the ground. Yes! Block number one is in position. Nice work, Justin. the problem. Come over here and look. Oh, we're building on a big lumpy bump of dirt. We should have moved it out of the way first. That's a lot of dirt to move. Not if you have the right equipment. Oh! Giant dirt movers. They're called bulldozers. Squidgy, you can have... I get the orange one. I get the blue one. Let's go. I'll lift the block. Hi, Olive. Hi, Tim Tom. Hi, Sammy. This is my friend, Justin. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Tim Tom and Sammy are the best tree climbers in my village. Cool. We're climbing trees, too. Uh, yeah, we're delivering fruit. Can, Can we help? help? Do you like swinging on vines? We, we sure, sure do. do. Okay. Well, howdy, Olive. Howdy, Yukon Don. I'd like you to meet my friends, Justin and Squidgy. Howdy, neighbors. Any friend of Olive's is a friend of mine. Howdy, howdy Yukon Don. Have you seen Lucky, my dog? I can't seem to find him anywhere. No, we haven't. Sorry, Yukon Don. I've checked all over my side. May I come over to your side and have a look? Of course. Thanks for asking first. Well, that is the prospector's golden rule. Always ask permission. Well, I just love, love, love what you've done to the place, Olive. Thanks, Yukon Don. Now, 
I wonder where my dog Lucky's gone off to. Don't worry, Yukon Don. We'll help you find Lucky. Yeah! What does he look like? Well, he's so big and cuddly, and he has the prettiest golden fur. Golden fur? Yes, Squidgy. Lucky's a golden retriever. Well, he sure is. And hoo wait, he's got a real knack for finding gold. Yukon Don? Let's look around. I'm sure we'll find him. Lucky! Lucky! Here, boy! Lucky! Lucky! Look! Paw prints. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. You're right! Lucky must have wandered down into the gold mine. Oh! Lucky, we're coming to get you! Hang on, Squidgy. If we're going to go into the mine, we need to wear helmets to be safe. <laughs> and we'll move faster if we take my cart. I want to ride up front with Justin. Justin, you guys found the paw prints, so you can drive. Really? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your arms and legs inside the cart at all times. Keep your headlights on. And enjoy the ride! Everybody ready? Ah, I can't look! Here we go! He'll go over those trees, off that cliff, up the mountain, and into the volcano. No wow. way! Are you ready, Rexy? <laughs> okay, everybody, stand back. Carrier. 
You can? Sure. Meet Princess Fifi. Princess Fifi is a kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I thought we were looking for a real princess. <laughs> I'm glad she's safe, but I wonder where that beast is. <gasps> B beast? Oh, you little beast. Why must you always chase Princess Fifi around, huh? The beast? <laughs> is it a puppy? Oh, Princess Fifi, there you are. <gasps> Bonjour, bonjour! Anyone for cookies? <gasps> <laughs> Princess Fifi, how about some more cookie royale? Huh? Oh, I want peanut butter! Chocolate chunk for me! Oh, oh, I'll have lemon drop and oatmeal raisin and chocolate chip. And uh, do you have any white chocolate macadamia nut? <laughs> Oh, thank you, my royal musketeers. You found my little princess. It's so funny. We thought that Princess Fifi was a real princess, not a cat. Yeah, and the beast turned out to be a cute little puppy. <laughs> I mean, who knew? I guess things aren't always what they seem at first. We would have never figured it out if we didn't work together. All for one, and one for all! Justin! There's my mom. I'd better go. Merci, Justin. No problem, Your Highness. We were happy to rescue the princess. Bye! Bye! Goodbye! Bye-bye, salut, adieu! Bye, everyone! Mom! Dad, wait! You can't! You can't what, son? You can't put Moo Moo Bear in the charity box. Moo Moo Bear in the charity box? We'd never do that. No, but we would put him in the laundry. He needs a wash. Hmm, Moo Moo, you didn't need to be rescued after all. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Go home. I can't believe I climbed that mountain. I never thought I'd do that. And I couldn't have done it without your help and encouragement, Justin. Me neither. I've never climbed that high before. I knew you both could do it. Well, it's getting late. I better call my goats home. Oh, oh, can I blow this time? Go for it, Squidgy. <gasps> Goats are so happy now. Thanks, Squidgy. Thanks, Justin. I'm glad we got Gretel home safely. Justin! And now it's my turn to go home. Bye, Olive. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Bye, Olive. Bye! So, Squidgy, do you want me to teach you how to climb? I think I'm ready now, Justin. Okay. Grab the blue bar and swing your legs over the green bar. Huh? Yeah. Then grab the yellow nub and pull yourself up. Uh. Look, Squidgy, you're doing it! <laughs> I am! I am! I'm climbing! We're kings of the mountain! Woohoo! <laughs> hey, you really can see everything from up here, huh, Justin? Look, there's your house! And your school and the hockey rink. Oh, and the ice cream shop. <laughs> Don't worry, baby giraffe.
Giraffe. We're coming. How did you get there anyway? He said he walked over some rocks, but now they're gone. <laughs> hey, here's a rock. A um, moving rock? Moving rocks? I've never seen that before. Hmm, I wonder what's making them move. I'm going in for a closer look. Mr. Hippo. <laughs> so the baby giraffe didn't walk across rocks. He walked across hippos. But there's only one hippo. Where are the others? I can't see any other hippos from here. We need to get higher up for a better look. Good idea, Justin. But how? Hmm. <laughs> hey, I think they want us to climb on. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Giraffe. Wow, we can see everything from up here. Hi, Justin! Oh. Olive, look! There's something in the water. You're right. I think that's another hippo. And there's even more of them. Squidgy, we need Mr. Hippo's help. Mr. Hippo, can you ask your friends to come out of the water? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Kima, we can get to the island now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Going up. with his mommy and daddy. Thanks for helping with the animal rescue. It was fun, Olive. Wasn't it cool the way we looked at things in different ways? Oh, yeah. We saw things from way up high when we were in Olive's plane. And then you found the hippos underwater. <laughs> Plus, we got a better look at the river thanks to Mr. and Mrs. Giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Justin! my mom calling. We'd better get back. See you! Bye! Goodbye, Justin! Bye, Squidgy! Bye! We've got to find that plane, Squidgy. But, Justin, we looked everywhere. Down in the grass, in the flowers. Hmm. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I just had to look for it in a different way. All right, Squidgy, I'm going to shake the branch. Ready? <gasps> yes! yes! We got Way it! Way to go! Yeah! Wait right here. I'll go get the controller. Ready for takeoff, Pilot Squidgy? Ready for action, Commander Justin.
Justin. Excellent race, young chap. Sholly could show. I couldn't have done it without my helpful pit crew. And we couldn't have done it without our amazing driver. Justin! That's my dad. We'd better go. Bye, Olive. Bye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Bye, Olive. Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Cheerio. Ta-ta! Hmm. That tire is really flat. Mm-hmm. I think Dad should be part of my pit crew. Hey, Dad! Can you help me fix my pedal car? It has a flat tire. No problem, Justin. I can fix that for you. There. You're all set. Have fun. Thanks, Dad. Ready to go, Squidgy? Ready to go! <laughs> Drivers, start your engines! <gasps> There's smoke coming from Granny Lombard's house? They said to hurry. This is it, Justin! To the fire pole! <laughs> Look, Squidgy! Smoke! This time it's a really big rescue for sure! I hope Granny Lombard is okay! Hold on! You're here, and it's so swell that you brought some of your friends. Hacha, 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 cha. Hacha, 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 cha. But there's smoke coming from your backyard. Why, of course there is. It's my 100th birthday. <laughs> the smoke is coming from your birthday cake. Hey, the duckies are here. And Susie and Cuddles, too. It's everyone we rescued today. Cuddle! <clears throat> My hero. Oh, uh, thanks. Well, it seems you helped out a whole bunch of people. That makes you heroes in my books, too. Well, we did make a lot of little rescues. Mm -hmm. But we didn't get to do a really big rescue. You mean a fire? I do have a cake with 100 candles on it. I could use some help blowing them all out. <laughs> Go for it, Justin. <gasps> Justin, can I put out this one? Go for it, Squidgy. <gasps> our help. Bye, Olive. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Justin. Goodbye, Justin. Thank you. Bye-bye. Squidgy, I bet Mom's flowers need our help. Right. I'll get the hose ready. Hey, Mom. I'm here to rescue your flowers. Why, thank you, Justin. They could use some water. Firefighter Justin to the rescue! My hero. Is everybody ready to build the Tower of Justin? Ready. Big pieces first. Got it! <laughs> are stacked in place. Great job! And now, the medium pieces. For the middle! Going up! 
Up, up, up. Now let's finish up the middle. Yeah. Some tower, Justin. Thanks, Dad. Dinner's almost ready. Make your own sandwiches. Yeah, we'll pile them high to the sky. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Come on. Wait, Justin, one last thing. The perfect place to put the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> It was fun. Uh-huh. Tree houses are better with friends. Yeah! Justin! That's my dad. I have to go. Bye, everyone. Bye! Bye, Justin. Bye, Squidgy. Bye, guys. See you soon. Thanks for coming. Bye! Bye! Bye. Squidgy, this tree house is great. Oh, it's the best tree house ever. Almost. It's missing one thing. Hey, Ozzy. <laughs> Want to come play in the treehouse with us? <laughs> Next up, the Justin, Squidgy, and Friends Treehouse Club. <laughs> Can we do it again? <laughs> Not now, Squidgy. We've got to find Lucky. There sure are a lot of tunnels. He could have gone down any one of them. I'll look for more paw prints. And I'll try hollering some more. Yoo-hoo, Lucky! He's that way. No, he's that way. That barking could have come from anywhere. Hmm. <gasps> Look, somebody's been digging a hole. <gasps> That's one of Lucky's holes for sure. Look. Here's another hole. And another! So, where's Lucky? <gasps> Lucky! There you are, boy! You really had us worried. Hi, Lucky. Come on, Lucky. Time to go home. <gasps> Hold up, folks. Looks like Lucky's found something. He's found something in that hole. Gold! Lucky found gold! Yeah! yeah! What I tell you, Lucky is the luckiest golden retriever ever! <laughs> Thanks for helping me find Lucky. I don't know how we got out of my yard. Oh. I think I know. Yukon Don, I'm really sorry, but I opened your gate to get my pan. You did? Yeah, and I guess I didn't close it all the way. Huh. Well, y'all admitted your mistake and everything turned out fine. Just next time, be sure to follow the prospector's golden rule. Always ask permission. You got it. Now you're a real prospector and a good neighbor to boot. Justin! We gotta go. Bye, Olive. Bye, Yukon Don. Bye, Lucky. 
<laughs> Bye! So long, neighbors! See ya! <laughs> Are we going to go in? We can't, Squidgy. We need to always ask permission. Excuse me, Mr. Manning? Hey, is that you, Justin? My super saucer flew over to your backyard. May I please come and get it? Why, well, sure you can. Thanks for asking first. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Manning. Thanks, Justin. Go long! Whoa! Whoa!